Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen dudes, KaiJD here. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, where today we were going to um, go to the races. I increased my stamina wheel, so we went down to one thing. We were going to go to the... Uh, to this place over here, but then we ended up going... I ended up following this guy. Because we talked to him and he gave us a main quest. We're going to find the Great Fairy Fountain. He's really old and slow. Hey, look, a shrine. Well, let's go in here right now. Um, that way we can teleport back to Kakariko Village. Uh, we talked about trying to find one of these last episode, but didn't actually do it. So hopefully a little painter dude. Uh, Tello Nag's teaching in the Tello Nag shrine. Let's open this. Shield of the Mind's Eye. Small Sheikah made shield. It's designed and intended to increase blind, decrease blind spots without sacrificing too much defense. Okay. Oh, are we fighting? Dang, this might be scary. Eightfold Blade. A single edge traditional... A single edge sword traditional to the Sheikah tribe. Just one of the sharpest conventional weapons ever made. I think we should equip these. We're like a Sheikah now. Um, let's use a side to avoid any attacks. Let's create an opening that will allow you, that you can use to strike back. Side up, target enemies, strafe, and jump. Okay. Uh, flurry rush. Jump out of the way of the entire last moment to do a perfect dodge. Do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks and create an opening to strike back. Guys, we're like doing full on combat training right now. So, backpedal. And then. Backflip. And then a flurry rush. Right. You can repel an attack if you parry the shield at just the right time. Strike back in the opening you create. That's with Y, I know. Or no, with A. Ready shield, and then. Oh, parry, and then. Okay, um. I didn't parry. You need to do it a little bit sooner. Press A to deflect an attack. Oh, I saw a little tip, but I didn't see it. Build up your power to then release it. Catch your enemies in this motion to damage them. Build power. Nice, got it. <gasps> what did we get? Guardian sword. A sword often wielded by guardian scouts. Blue energy blades are product of ancient technology. It's not very durable. I don't care. That's still awesome looking. <gasps> Guys, we did it. You have done well to learn his crucial skills. Now proceed. Okay. So I need to use Z-targeting a whole lot more than I have been. So the shield and sword just made sure that you actually had a shield and sword to use. Ancient screw, ancient shaft. Dude, a guardian sword. It's like a lightsaber. I like it. Ooh, there's another chest. Wow, there's a bunch of chests in here. Okay. Go to Kakariko Village on your first... When you're in early playthrough. An opal. You get money, you get a sword, and you get a shield. Two swords. We got two swords, actually. Awesome. <laughs> bye bye, Kaku. Come on, dude. Oh, sorry. Out of breath. I'm gonna get this up here. Hopefully, we don't have to have rupees to help out the Great Fairy. Is the Great Fairy up there? Oh no, there it is. Really, dude? 
So, tired. Hills aren't easy for old folks like me. I can't go on. That's what I've been told, anyway. Dude, you're literally... You are literally right here. It gets... It literally goes downhill from there. I don't know. He's a wimp. Oh, oh, fairies. Oh, I got a fairy. Ah, oh, okay. We got one fairy. It's more than last time. All right, we found another fairy fountain. That's good. Sweet boy, please. Sure, listen to the story. Katera, fewer, fewer. Okay. They all need 500 rupees. Look, Chica, I only have 122. Here you go. Give you as many as I can. Look, I'm sorry that I don't have enough rupees, but holy cow, 500 rupees? This great fairy chick better do some awesome stuff. That looks like a sketchy traveler. Let's put on some armor. And better shield. And better sword. Nope, he's looking at something. Grumble. About a year ago, I was walking around alone. Something started blinding light. I woke up in a bed covered in sweat. What What do you think about that? That sounds like a dream to me. Bed full of liquid in an empty room, and I looked in the corner, there was a weird glowing device. I was overwhelmed with a feeling of familiarity when I came to you, I was here. What do you think about that? <gasps> this is one of those guys. Does that story sound familiar? Helian champion? Right, okay, yeah, I figured that was, that was what happened. Yep, die. Alright, bananas, rupees, up to 130. That's not a lot. There's a dude over there. Uh, is that the... There's a dude over there with a harp, with a, not a harpsichord. What am I talking, think about? An accordion. And he's playing. How much money do I have? 130 rupees. That's enough for an okay tip, right? That's why this guy's out here in the middle of nowhere to get tips from random passerbys. Crown of Bone. Oh, pardon me. I didn't think anyone was around. The That there, on your hip. No, I'm sorry. It's nothing. I didn't mean to pry. Are you a bird? Have you never met a Rito before? Odd. My name is Cass. As a bard, I spend my days traveling this land in search of ancient songs. Have you heard of the ancient songs of Hyrule? Nope. Ancient songs, songs that sing the praises of a hero who beat back the calamity in an age past. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Sure. Without further ado. A beast that wears a crown of bone, prancing through the lush green. Mount the beast upon its throne, for only then the shrine is seen. I suppose the lush green could refer to this place. What sort of beast wears a crown of bone? It's definitely a secret hiding there, but it's beyond me. May the light illuminate your path. Crown beast. Crown of bone? Talking about a tree? That's a crown of leaves. That hill has cr bones on it. I don't know if it would be a crown of... Let's use some materials. Let's eat some food.
Alright, it's right above us. It's right above us. Got him in the head. Got him in the head again. Is it 25 HP? He's making ice chews. <gasps> Got him. White choo choo jelly. Ice Rod! <gasps> Walking cast waves of freezing air. Good for magic, not so great for melee. Uh, oh, oh, I don't care. I need to chuck something. What can we chuck? We can chuck the soldier's broadsword. I want this. Is he gonna drop anything else? Awesome! Got an ice rod, we'll look at that later. Guys, we're getting fancy magic stuff. If I don't make this, I'm gonna be so sad. That means I'm gonna have to redo it. Who's up here? There's a, there's a dude up here. Wow, I cannot believe it. Excuse me, I am Groove of the Zora. It is apparent you are a traveler, but may I ask what you brought you, what brought you here? I could ask you the same thing. Hmm, how very astute of you. An excellent query indeed. You know it's literally my only option. I, by order of Prince Sidon of Zora's Domain, am searching for a Hylian. Or I was, but then I fell asleep. I woke aloud to a I wo I woke to a loud noise and awful quaking, and now here I am. I'd like to get down and be on my way, but it's simply too high up. I need to figure something out. Prince Sidon is down at the bridge below, but for some reason I cannot seem to catch his attention. But you, you are a Hylian, yes? Well then, my luck is improving. Prince Sidon, I found one. I found a Hylian. <laughs> hmm. Prince Sidon doesn't seem to notice my struggle. Perhaps I should swallow my fear and jump to the river below. Then I could return to him. He must be worried sick. Nope. Nope. I can't do it. It's too high up. I'm likely. To, I'll likely meet the gods of the ever after before I ever see Prince Sidon again. Mr. Hylian, I must apologize. It will be some time before I can get back to Prince Sidon. Please, you must leave here. Leave me here and go on ahead. Did you try to push me? No, I assume. Well, in any case, Mr. Hylian, I must apologize. I will try to find a way to get my message distressed to him, or so I hope. And I groove him here as well. Help me, please. Sorry, don't, didn't mean to scare you, dude. Okay. Well, it looks like we have found... The Zora. Let's activate the Sheikah Tower. So they were looking for a Hylian as well, which is me. Now we can teleport here. Awesome sauce. See, so yep, it looks like we're in the watery area, so we're gonna go meet the Zora peeps. Uh, let's go to the. Uh, Let's go to this shrine over here. A Hylian. Big hearty radish. Hello. Oh my, how wonderful. You are a Hylian, yes? Yes, yes I am. Perfect. Must be my lucky day. Oh, ahem. I apologize for calling out to you so suddenly. I am Torfio, I am Torfio of Azura. I have been searching for a Hylian like you for a very long time. My home, Zora's Domain, is in a terrible danger. That's why Prince Sidon sent me in search of a strong Hylian warrior. Prince Sidon is waiting at Enogo Bridge. Would you please talk to the prince and perhaps save us all? We would be ever so grateful. <laughs> These people are great. Hylian Shroom. Let's go here first, though. Yeah, yeah, I'll get to you, lady. A minor test of strength. So, Kofi Shrine. 
A uh, minor test of strength. I'm gonna put on my battle armor. And let's equip, I guess the soldier shield is fine. And the guardian sword is fine as well. Here we go. All right, so this one has a sword and a shield. Holy cow, holy cow, what are you doing? Guardian sword broke, awesome. Uh, let's get another one-handed weapon. This is my only other one-handed weapon. Get our knight's claymore. Ah, uh, this is gonna be bad, isn't it? Yep, that was bad. Soldier shield broke and it murdered us instantly. Oh no, it didn't. Oh, we had a fairy. Hold on. Uh, um. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Uh, food, 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 right now, food, right now. Um. Oh, wait, why am I not? Oh, come on, recharge. We got it! Holy cow, that was close. That was tough. I hope we get something good for that. That was just a minor test of strength. Let's grab all my arrows. Guardian sword, guardian shield. It can deflect a Guardian Scout's beam. Ancient screw, ancient shaft. Ooh, we can deflect that back at them? Dude, we look sick. I just look so fancy. A knight's bow. Inventory's full. I can fix that. Drop. Let's open this baby up. Awesome sauce. Trying to go the test of strengths of... Okay. It says the same thing. So, there are a couple of different types of shrine things. Alright. Let's get our emblazoned shield and then our soldier's claymore on. Yes. Are you still recording? Yes, I'm actually still recording. Can I play it? It's like five o'clock. Give me 20 minutes. Kyle. What? You have been on literally all day. Okay, go. Say hey there, young one. Hello? Up top. Above you. Oh, right, okay. I was trying to fly to you, but I couldn't. Hello, sir. 
He must be Prince Sidon. Yep, the Zora Prince. What's up, my dude? Pardon the entrance, but you're a Hylian, aren't you? Yep. I was hoping perhaps you'd have a moment to talk. Okay, sure. I got a minute. Hmm. Hylian, yes, I knew it. Oh, pardon me. I am Sidon, the Zora Prince. Dashing, sir. And what is your name? Go on, please tell me. Yo, I'm Link. Link? Your name is Link? What a fantastic name. Hmm, though I cannot shake the feeling that I've heard it somewhere before. Well, in any case, it is a strong name. To be honest, I've been watching you. I've seen the way you work. I can tell by how you carry yourself that you are no ordinary person. Link, you must be a strong warrior among the Hylians, correct? Yeah. Aha, just as I suspected. Because all the other people that I've ever fought with kind of suck. I am a Zora Prince after all. I have an eye for talent that is unparalleled. Yes, exquisite. I have been searching for someone like you for a long while. A man like you, Link, who carries himself with power. Right now, Zora's domain is in great danger because of the massive rainfall coming from the divine beast Varuta. Please, promise you will help us. We need your strength, warrior. Won't you please come to Zora's domain with me? Sure thing. Wow, really? Thank you, Link. You are indeed the man I thought you were. Now Zora's domain will be safe for certain. No time to waste. Hurry up and head over. Because of the rain, the cliffs are too wet to climb. To reach the domain, you will need to go straight along this path. Oh, boulders. Then maybe we could just fly the rest of the way? Yeah. We're gonna see how far up, how much of this we can just fly. Uh, I'm gonna change out of my, just while we're here. In the sky, let's take off the helmet. Yeah, that'll work. That way, just in case it starts lightninging. Okay, so evidently it's always raining in Zora's domain because that's the only weather it's showing down at the bottom. Which is interesting. Oh yeah, because the, uh, because the divine beast. There we go, we can fly all the way. Welcome back to Zora's domain. Welcome back, welcome to. <laughs> All the characters just spawned right as I got there. Cool. There's the prince. It's like a statue of Zora and everything. Whoa. I waved. <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Link. <laughs> this is a guy. Welcome. Behold the pride of my people, Zora's domain. Now I shall introduce you to the king. Hurry this way. If you do not mind, please allow me to explain. This statue of the former Zora champion. Her name was Lady Mipha. She was as kind as she was beautiful. They say her ability to heal wounded soldiers was beyond compare. Those soldiers to heal, they are old and decrepit now, but they remember. For this reason, the elders of the domain all love Lady Mipha dearly. If you would like to know more, I suggest you try talking to one of them. Okay. Yo. Zora's domain is currently searching for a Hylian like you. That said, this Hylian, I get the feeling I've seen it before, perhaps a long time ago. Alright, so evidently something happened with Lady Mipha and everyone hates us. Reach Zora's domain. Complete. That guy on the left looks funky. It's like a stingray on a body. <laughs> hey dudes. It's the big old Zora. King Dorfan. Ah, you must be the Hylian that Sudden brought here, correct? You did well to come all the way here. I am King Dorafan, ruler of the Zora. That object upon your waist, is that not a Sheikah slate? Now that I've gotten a good look at you, it is all too clear who you are. You're the Hylian Champion Link. Do not tell me you have forgotten me. The Hylian Champion? You can't mean THE Link. That Champion? So that's where I heard your name before. What a fateful coincidence that we should cross paths. We have met numerous times, I'll have you know. Ah, so many memories. My mind is overflowing with nostalgia, my friend. I heard a terrible rumor that you had been fallen in combat, but it appears you managed to survive. Extraordinary. I lost my memory. Come again? You say you lost your memory? But well, surely you must remember my pre precious daughter, Mipha, yes? You do, do you not? Doesn't ring a bell. <laughs> Have you truly forgotten my dear Mipha as well? You and Mipha were so close, yet you do not remember her? Young hero, please look upon the beauty of Zoro's domain. Do you see that statue? Does gazing upon Mipha's immortalized form still not jog your memory? Well, perhaps your memory will return in time. I dearly hope so. 
Father, I do not believe discussing my sister is helping matters at the moment. Link seems, seems confused. Oh, yes, of course. But first, it's worth noting how remarkable it is to sign and bar a champion here without realizing it. That is quite a feat, my boy. Wahaha, <laughs> that is a good one. Link, I doubt not that you have endured a great many trials. Still, I must ask you to hear my plea. I must inform you that Zora's domain is in danger of vanishing because of the divine beast, Van Ruda. Should do the courtesy of speaking bluntly. We alone cannot stop this beast. Will you lend us your strength? What? King Dorfan, my liege, please do not speak so. To ask a Hylian for help, while the very thought of it curls my fins. Muzu, I expected more of you. How can you still protest? Muzu, it is rude to speak that way to your to your king and his guest. Link here is here because I invited him. With such unprecedented rainfall, we have no choice but to rely on the aid of a trustworthy Hylian. Have we not already discussed this and arrived at that very conclusion? He is the key to saving Zora's domain, I have no doubt in my mind. Indeed, Link is a champion through and through. As things now stand, Zora's domain, nay, perhaps all of Hyrule, is doomed to be swallowed by the sea. It is bigger than all of us, my friend. Zora and Hylians alike must put aside our differences and band together. Have you forgotten already, my king? We cannot trust these lowly Hylians. A hundred years ago, they abused the power of an ancient civilization and turned Hyrule into what it is today. And that is not the least of it. What's the least of it? Oh, yeah, uh, the, ch the chick that died. Lady Mifa. It is their fault that Lady Mifa was lost to us. <laughs> Link, Divine Beast Varuda has great power. It is the unique ability to create an endless supply of water. Of late, it has been mercilessly spouting water into the air. As a result, this air has been plagued by heavy rains. For Azura, water and air are as one, so you would not think this would be quite so critical of a problem. Sadly, the rains have filled the eastern reservoir nearly to the point of flooding. The reservoir bursts, as soon will, I fear immense damage will befall not only Zora's domain, but also the area downstream from us. There, Hylian lives are in very grave danger. Oh dear. Hmm. The, device, the divine beast is crying out once again. Oh dear. Oh, oh, this is the, uh, the elephant one. It can create endless supplies of water. It's a weird power to have. Hey, you know, whatever. Okay, cool. The Divine Beast of Aruda. Your Princess Zelda often studied the Divine Beast, that is, in the time before the Great Calamity. According to her research, the orbs located on Ruta's shoulders are a mechanism that can control the water it generates. However, they require electricity to work. These orbs are clearly out of control now because there is no electricity coursing through to stop them. Sagan, who was quite shock resistant for Azura, hit one with a shock arrow. Sure enough, it slowed the water a bit. Unfortunately, as an aquatic race, we Azura are terribly vulnerable to the power of electricity. Perhaps we could not safely strike it with enough electricity at once, the water soon returned to its full force. That is why I went in search of a Hylian who could help us. <laughs> this guy's such a dork. <laughs> Link, I'm certain you have already figured this out, but we need you to use shock arrows to get those orbs working properly again. I will aid you in any way I can, of course. Please, Hero, I beg of you. Help me stop Ruta's rampage of, of destruction. I, um, what? Princess Zelda herself instructed you to board the Divine Beast and appease it from within? So then, Princess Zelda is still alive? Yes. Hyrule Castle. Mm. I do not believe it. She was alive this whole time, just as you were. The events of a hundred years ago cannot be altered. It is true. But if we can regain control of the Divine Beast, they may yet prove useful in sealing Calamity Ganon once and for all. I did not know you had such grand ambitions, Link. <laughs> Wondrous. Naturally, I shall help too. <laughs> this guy's so funny. Once it has stopped rampaging, you can easily climb inside it. Come, Link. Let us appease Ruta together. Okay. Thank you, Link. Truly, we are in your debt. Our goal is the same. That means our meeting was nothing short of destiny. Now then, allow me to offer you this gift as a show of faith. Zora arm. Custom armor painstakingly crafted by each generation's Zora princess for her future husband. Wearing it will give you the ability to swim up waterfalls. So long as you wear this, you can ascend waterfalls just like a Zora. Please take good care of it. King Dorafan. Surely you do not really intend to give this outside of the Zora armor. Countless generations of Zora princes have gifted that armor to the one they have sworn to marry. 
Princess Mifa made this one, made that one there with her own hands. It is far too important to entrust to a shady Hylian. He may be a champion, but Mifa had no such relationship with him. So why should he receive such an honor? This is just too much, my liege. I do not understand it one bit. Hmm. <laughs> that Muzu is not easily swayed once his mind is set. You must understand, he was in charge of educating my dear daughter Mifa. Naturally, she means a lot to him, just as she means the world to us. Ever since we lost her to the Calamity, she, he has grown to despise Hylians. I hope you can forgive his rudeness. I mean, I guess so. Hmm, but what shall we do now? I think we need to end off this episode. So, thank you ladies and gentle dudes for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on it and subscribe for the rest of our Legend of Zelda playthrough. Sidon has gone to go and get shock arrows, which is pretty awesome. Next episode, we're going to go f do the Divine Beast Varuda. I think that's what it was called. I don't remember exactly. Divine Beast Varuda. How convenient is that? We're going to go do that with S my, my dude Sidon. And we're going to do the first Divine Beast, which is going to be pretty awesome. So, I will see you guys in the next video. This is KaiJD signing out.